Hey, hey everyone, welcome to Home Energy Design 101. How to design a beautiful home and make sure it's energy aligned. I'm your host, Amanda Gates, and I'm an interior designer and feng shui practitioner. And these combined skills have made me a floor plan reading expert. Energy design is like astrology for your home and life. Who doesn't want more of that? I believe in all things pretty, and my team and I do the best damn design in the country. But I'll help you create a beautiful design that is also energy aligned to help you get the home and life you've always dreamed of. Are you ready? Let's do this. Today, we're going to learn how to cultivate what I call a honey haven. Now, you might be asking yourself, uh, what exactly is that? Uh, who is this for? And how exactly does one cultivate this? All excellent questions that stem from my listener, Janet, who wrote in the following. Amanda, never have I considered the decoration of my home important to me. A home was where family was. That is until I discovered your podcast. When I learned about your five fundamentals to loving on a house, I was hooked. For the first time ever, bells were going off. Bells, Amanda. It all just made sense. But I realized what I had created uh, just might not be a true honey haven. Or was it? Oh my gosh, can you please explain this? Thanks so much, Janet from Orlando. Hey, hey everyone, this is Amanda Gates and I am an interior designer and feng shui practitioner and I specialize in floor plan readings. And today I'm going to teach you about a concept I call a honey haven. What is it exactly? Who is it for? How do you even achieve this? And of course, Why the hell does it matter? The reason that I got into feng shui was because I got so fed up with creating beautiful spaces for clients that to me were completely empty calories. Instead, I wanted to create spaces that would give my clients a soft place to land. You know, that wasn't only beautiful, but actually improved their health and well-being. And who doesn't want that? Beautiful energy is what creates a beautiful space. And to me, a beautiful space that doesn't have the energy right absolutely is empty calories. Because listen, if you get the energy right, everything, and I mean everything else, follows. And in order to build a better you, you have to build a better home. You can't do one without the other. I see this so often where people will go out and do all these external things on themselves. May they get, I don't know, better fitness. They start eating right. They go to counseling. They read more books. They do more, more, more. But they don't look at the one solution, the one thing that could change it all. And that's your home. So today we're going to talk about your home and creating a true honey haven. In my school of feng shui, it's all about ceremony. It has nothing to do with moving furniture. A lot of times when I let people know that I'm a feng shui practitioner, the first thing that comes to mind, oh, you're going to move my furniture around. Nope, I'm not going to touch your furniture. I am, however, going to manipulate and move the energy within your home. And here's the thing. You're either open and willing to receive this or you're not. But here's the cool thing. It is absolutely working, whether you believe in it or not. So this idea of being open to it and open to the idea of ceremony to elevate your home, that's a honey heart. A honey heart is open to this idea of what Janet is talking about with the five fundamentals of loving on your house. Let's summarize those because if you haven't listened to that podcast, you may have no idea what it is that we're talking about. And if you don't know what we're talking about, I would encourage you to go back and listen through the podcast where I talk about this. I can't remember off the top of my head which one that is, so just go back and listen to all of them. I promise it'll be worth your time. Okay, the five fundamentals to loving on your house. Number one, change how you think about her. You have to think about your home in a new way. Number two, you have to personalize her. 
She's a family member. She's a third skin. Trust me, if you have things showing up in your life, they're showing up in your home. She is a direct reflection of what's going on with you and your family. Number three, understand how she makes you feel. Because if you don't feel good about her, well, there's a problem. That means something needs to be fixed. That means her energy's off. That might mean that your energy is off. Number four, you got to see her as a solution. You have to realize that she is there and she's better than any therapist you will ever, (laughs) self-help book that you will ever, fitness that you will ever sign up for. And number five, get acquainted with her details. Where are her details located? What's going on in your home? Do you even know? I can't tell you how many people just pass by a certain hallway or a certain piece of furniture and can't give me the details. Get acquainted with her details. A great place to start would be podcast eight, the top five disruptors. If you're not open to this idea, you may be blocking or inhibiting the good fortune that could be coming your way. It's still going on. Trust me, it's still happening, but you got to see it in this way. If you're not open-minded, if you're not open to this idea of everything that I'm talking about, it's kind of like being a kinked hose. The water is still dripping out, but you're not going to receive all that it has to offer. You can't possibly because there's a kink in the hose. So if you open up your heart, all it takes is a mustard seed, folks. We've talked about this. You just got to have a mustard seed of faith that this idea that this could possibly work, that this could be the solution to helping you get the love, life, everything you want, everything you've ever dreamed of could start with your home. Think about that. When it comes to your home, awareness is key in order to heal your home, in order to heal you. When a homeowner enters a space with really, really big excitement, they're motivated, they have great passion, and they're ready to take on anything. This is how I felt with my first home purchase. I had a true understanding, and I've talked about this in podcast one or podcast two, about this idea of me completely decorating this home top to bottom, and it was empty calories because the energy was off. So... With Bobo, that was the name of my home, I, I just wanted to take on the world with her. I was so, so excited to heal her when I had the understanding that I held the key to make it right. I was ready, willing, and so able to do whatever it took to make her whole again. I cared for her as the family member that she was. And she could feel my excitement, my eagerness to make it right again. So together we healed one another. And this is why loving on your house, those five fundamentals are so important. You have to change about how you think about her, personalize her, and understand that she could be the solution. Because I cared for her and I loved on her hard. And she did the same for me. This, folks, is what I call a honey heart. A honey heart gets it. She understands the importance of her home. She understands the meaning of her home. She understands what home is. It's a haven. A true honey heart understands this. And a honey heart is willing to do whatever it takes to the best of her ability to remove toxins unnecessary stress, and replace it with love, sustainable practices, get rid of all the toxic thinking, toxic relationships, just getting all that toxic bullshit out of her environment. And by doing this, you create a sacred space called home. This space supports you in every way possible, uplifts you, encourages you, nurtures you and your family in every way possible so that you can live your best life. This, my friends, this is a honey haven. So Janet, 
Just because you don't care about decoration doesn't mean that you're not a honey heart. It doesn't mean that you don't look at your house in a different way and love on her hard. It's not always about the pretty. Trust me, I love the pretty. (laughs) I have no problems with the pretty. But that's not what's important. What's important is how you care for her and love on her and understand that she's a part of the family. Because as much as I love beautiful things, that's why I'm an interior designer, and as much as I adore a home that's adorned with beautiful, luxurious items, the bottom line is you have to trust the vibe. Because, hey, what is it that I always say? The energy never lies. So here's the thing. When we're looking at a true honey heart who loves on her house hard, has a true understanding that she's a family member, is acquainted with her details, and really understands who her home is, and understands that she has a honey haven, a lot of people want to know, well, am I doing it right? Just like Janet. And hey, there's no wrong way to do it. But I get this question a lot. I get asked all the time, well, I don't know that I'm seeing it this way or what if I'm doing it wrong or blah, blah, blah. Don't overthink it. But from this, because I've gotten this question so many times, I've created this concept called the hive diamond. Now, I get this because many of you know David is in television and so they have this thing called a character diamond. And from a character diamond, they can create uh, characters within a movie, and it helps them get the juxtaposition of the bad traits versus the good traits. And I thought this would be a great way to build home. The reason that I created this is that because so many people were questioning whether or not they had a true honey haven. And hey, I should back up a little bit here. A honey heart is someone who's just purely aware of what her home brings to her and has an understanding of all of the things that her home does for her. So that in and of itself is the first step to creating a honey haven. But I created the hive diamond as a way to anchor what your home is to you. This is what makes your house great. Because in my opinion, the theory of everything stems from home. And in order to create balance at home, you have to take the good with the bad, right? So Janet, just like everyone else who has asked me the same question, this will help you. The purpose of the Hive Diamond is to help you put what your home is in perspective. This is what makes home, home. So envision, if you will, imagine, if you will, a diamond. We've got basically four points or four corners on this diamond. At the top, we have what I call the North Star. This, this is the religion of home. This is the roots of the family. And this is the home's guiding light. This is the North Star. This is the trait that grounds your space and what brings you home. For many of us, this is family. To the right of the diamond, we have the predictables. This is what makes home, home. This is what keeps the ship steady day in and day out. This is the routine. At the bottom, we have the caper and the jerk. This, this is the family secrets. This is the weakness, the kryptonite that will make the family fall apart. This is the opposing force of the North Star. This is what brings the North Star to its knees. To the left, we have the flip. This is the quirk, the contrast. This is life's challenges that throw us off kilter. So I'll use myself as an example. For me, my North Star has always been my family. These are the things that matter most to me. If everything else were to fall apart, the one thing that I need most, my security comes from my family. My predictables, absolutely my routine. I'm a workaholic. I try so hard not to be because it's against my brand and it's against what it is that I tell everybody else to do. But I truly love to work. But it's that routine that I have that I love and it's the predictable. It's always there. The flip, the quirk, right now is Winnie Pooh. 
She's our newest and latest kitty cat that we have. We've had her for about two years now, and she is always causing nonsense in this house. In fact, our favorite is Winnie Pooh, Stop Playing with Helpful People. What does that mean? Well, if you've listened to the podcast about the Pagua map, I have adjustments in place in my home that strengthens my helpful people gua. And wouldn't you know, Winnie Pooh is always running through the house with helpful people. She definitely likes to throw life off kilter, but within that, we find humor in her nonsense. The caper and the jerk for me, for years, was actually feng shui. It was this idea of how I saw the world, how I saw energy, how I felt energy. It was the family secret. Because when I was married, my ex-husband actually really, really hated that I was into all this woo-woo hippie shit. I think it scared the hell out of him. It scared the hell out of him that I could see things, feel things, hear things. He didn't like that I liked this energy stuff. And it was a huge secret. He didn't want anybody to know. He didn't want me to share it with the world. He judged me. And so I never mentioned it. I did it in secret. God forbid that the family and friends learned of my talents and who I really was. Because in his eyes, my ex-husband's eyes, I was a witch. But here's the thing about the hive diamond. You have to have this. You have to have this anchor to bring you home. This is what grounds your space and gives you your why. Because as I'm giving you the five fundamentals of loving on your house, if you're not really sure about this, hey, just give me that mustard seed. But if you're not really sure about this, How the hell do you get to the point where you can create a honey haven? If you're not even sure that you're ready to sign up for this, the purpose of the hive diamond is to help you get clear about the character of your home, your why. What is it for you that makes home home? And what is its significance to you? Everybody's answers are going to be different here. And everybody's going to approach this differently. And that is okay. That's the whole point. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, holy shit, lady, this is crazy. This really is woo-woo hippie shit. Hey, I'm okay with that. Building a solid foundation through home starts with a single brick. It starts with a single thought. The only way that you're going to build a better you is to build a better home. So you got to get clear about what home means to you. What are your anchors? What are the things that bring you on home? What is your North Star? What is the routine? What is the one thing that could tear it all apart? And does it matter? If you can get clear on these things and have a true understanding of what makes your home great, you're already well on your way to creating a honey haven. And hey, awareness is all it takes because when you have an understanding of these things and are open to it and want to start changing things, shifting things, and creating transformation, that's a true honey heart. It's that simple. It is so easy to get swept up in life's trials and tribulations. And that is why it is necessary to anchor yourself in this hive diamond. Because what happens when shit starts to get out of control? Life turns upside down. You can't focus or even care about a lot of the little things that's going on in your home. It can be so easy to get swept up in the wrong things. And that's why this is so important. Your hive diamond roots you in all things that are home. And in order for us to be our best selves, we must be fastened the things that matter. And for me, and I'm hoping for everybody that's listening, that's home. No matter what swirls around you, gets thrown at you, swept away from you, your hive diamond, your why, is what brings you home. All right, let's summarize. Remember, the five fundamentals to loving on your house. You got to change how you think about her. Personalize her. Give her a name. It's fun. I promise. Understand how your home makes you feel. If you're not feeling good about it or it's just a roof over your head, 
you got a lot of work ahead of you because that is not a true honey heart. A honey heart loves on her home hard and understands what the meaning of home is and the importance of what that home is to she and her family. You got to see your home as a possible solution to the shit that's going on in your life. And you got to get acquainted with her details. If you haven't already, go back to the podcast where I talk about the top five disruptors. Those disruptors are the details that matter and that you need to get acquainted with. All right. So when we're talking about the hive diamond at the top, you have your North Star. This is your guiding light. The things that ground your space and all things that are home. For me, this is family, friends, neighbors, the people around me that really matter. Whatever that looks like for you, the North Star is your grounding factor. This is what roots you and becomes the religion called home. Get clear about the one thing that anchors you. What guides you and brings you home? This is your North Star. To the right of this diamond are the predictables. Hey, this is your daily routine. This is what keeps that ship steady. It's what keeps that ship moving forward and sets you up for success. Through habit, we can choose to become our best selves because we're anchored. We're anchored in the steady flow of life. We need routine, folks. We have to. Because it safeguards us from getting swept up and swept away and falling victim to life's ups and downs. At the bottom, we have the caper and the jerk. This is where the family secrets live, the bruises, the traumas, the unmentionables. This is literally the family kryptonite. This one thing just may be the thing that makes the entire family fall apart. This variable, this wild card, is the biggest weakness that could make you turn your back Throw in the towel and walk away from it all if your North Star is weak. And to the far left, we find the flip. This is what makes the family unique. Here, we can let our freak flag fly, quirks and all. Whether it's the brother that refuses to grow up, the dad who refuses to give up hookers and beer, or the sister who brings her own cutlery to the restaurant. This is the contract that everyone knows and signs up for. This contrast is criticized, but it's accepted. Here we may be discerning and maybe even a little bit judgmental, but we find ourselves flexible because it's easy to remove the fly in the ointment. As long as you try hard enough. In order to create a honey haven, you can't get ahead of yourself. You have to root yourself and create a foundation. Through the hive diamond, you can create a foundation that clarifies your why. Why do you want to have a honey haven? What makes it a haven? Why do you want to be a honey heart that cares for that honey haven? Your hive diamond is how you keep your home in balance and how you stay in balance. This is your doctrine to home and it helps align you. With the good comes the bad, and with the eccentric comes the extraordinary. Too much of a good thing in either direction will throw everything off. Build a better you by first building a better diamond. Clarify your why. Once you understand this, you are well on your way to building design that's energy aligned. Hey, even if you're like Janet and you don't care so much about the decoration, although I have a feeling that like most folks that I work with, once they start getting the energy right, they start feeling really damn good. And that's the thing. When you start feeling good, you want to do more things to your home. When you start really loving on her and you love on her hard, you want to make her pretty. You want to do pretty things for her and give back to her because ultimately when she feels good, you feel good. It's pretty awesome because beautiful energy creates a beautiful space, which in turn creates a beautiful home for you and your family so that you feel better too. It's pretty rad, you guys. It's pretty awesome to see how everything really comes full circle. 
And now I hope you have a full understanding of why it is so important to design your home and align her right to get the energy right. You can't have one without the other. And you can't get ahead of yourself either. You got to create that foundation first. Take one step at a time. And here's the cool thing. You don't have to do it all at once. Take your time. Let it unfold. And watch the magic unfold in front of you. And that, my friends, is how you get a honey haven. This is your host, Amanda Gates of Home Energy Design. I hope that you've liked this podcast because I sure did. This is one of my favorite things to do. I love loving on a house. I love teaching you all how to love on your house. Because, hey, you got to trust the vibe because the energy never lies. And if you like this podcast, be sure to subscribe, leave us a note, or you can send in your questions at letschat at thegatescompany.com if you'd like your question answered like Janet's. And hey, if you need more information, be sure to hop on over to our website at gatesinteriordesign.com. Bye for now.